Hey everyone, I hope you're all having a great holiday season. This is LB Ninja 7 and I've got a long one for you today. Today I want to talk about Miss Weaver potential in 9.2 and like the combination of legendaries uh, and then the new tier set that's going to come out. Just where we stand because I think the future is bright for those of us who are playing Miss Weaver now. Um, I'm going to have some gameplay going on in the background. It's going to be a plus 18 Plague Fall, I think, maybe a 19. I don't know. It's nothing special, just a, a key just to have going. I think we wiped somewhere in the key, so stay tuned for that. You'll see it was probably my fault. I don't remember. Um, but I just wanted to, to have a video come out. And also, this is going to be my first edited video, so don't roast me in the comments or do. I don't care. But all I know is that so far your comments have been so great. And to keep it up because they are keeping me going, keep subscribing and liking, and yeah, let's get into the discussion. So first, I think before we look at the legendary combinations uh, for today, we need to talk about the tier sets because those might, um, you know, change what I say. So first off, the tier set is going to be like a group of gear. Like if you have two pieces of it, kind of like the um, the dom sockets now if you have two sets or two pieces of it you get your essence font uh heal over time will last two additional seconds which is pretty strong it means that every time we rising sun kick and extend that we can only double the duration so if we add two seconds to that basically we can you know with our rising sun kick extending we can um add four seconds to that so that's pretty nice it's just gonna be a, a nice little uh healing buff nothing too special it doesn't really combine super well with any specific legendary maybe ancient teachings can extend it more consistently but it's nothing it's not going to change any of our decisions i don't think and then if we have four pieces of the tier set we get um every time that we drink our focus tea our thunder focus tea then we summon this little light well kind of thing where any healing that's done inside of it it'll just be increased by a slight amount Nothing like amazing, but it, I mean, I mean, any kind of healing bonus is a bonus, although Miss Weavers don't really need it, but that one doesn't really synergize well with any of them other than maybe like Breath of Yulon, uh, drinking our Thunder Focus Tea like makes us breathe a uh, Breath of Yulon, which that one's just not too exciting in general. So, so those don't really change our decision, but I just want to get that out of the way. Um, although they are going to be nice, you're going to want to go in for those. Um, I, I want to quickly mention that I'm going to say two different terms, base healing versus borrowed healing. What that means is like, you know, our base healing is like everything that's in our standard monk kit. So like uh, Essence Font, Renewing Mist, Enveloping Mist, Vivify, that kind of stuff. And then borrowed healing is that from our legendaries or our conduits. Like, um, so Fallen Order is borrowed healing because it's not like in our base monk kit. And then same with like Ancient Teachings, just that's what I mean by that. Um, so like, I, I want to quickly get some of these legendaries out of the way because they're just not strong enough in my opinion. So the, some weaker versions of a borrowed healing would be Bountiful Brew. It just like buffs our mastery on anyone that it hits. It's just, it's not super exciting. It doesn't do as much as we would want it. And, um, like for base healing legendaries, Tear of Mourning, um, that one, I'll, I'll try to edit them up on the screen, but that one, um, it's basically a single target healing legendary. Um, we, if we're channeling, uh, or no, I, it, it's just, it's, it just doesn't add as much healing as some of our other options. That, and I've already uh, mentioned Breath of Yulon, they just aren't that exciting. And same with Clouded Focus. Um, cloud, sorry, Clouded Focus is the single target one. Tear of Mourning is the one that spreads your renewing mist. It's like, okay, but like, it, None of these are super exciting because some of these combinations will get kind of disgusting as we talk about them. I just want to get those out of the way. Um, maybe Tear of Mourning could be pretty cool with uh, Call to Arms. Call to Arms is the Kyrian legendary. It will summon your um, like Yulon or Chiji, whichever you're using, whenever you use Weapons of Order, the Kyrian ability. Um, because then, I mean, you're already pressing Enveloping Mist more often than not. Uh, or more often than other play styles, so like maybe you could use that. But it's still just, there's better combinations in my opinion. So, 
first, I want to get this one out of the way because it's everyone's go-to. I know everyone's going to be asking about it. I've already gotten questions about it. But the co first combination I want to talk about is Sinister Teachings and Ancient Teachings of the Monastery. So Sinister Teachings is the Venthyr Legendary. And obviously you have to be Venthyr and have Fallen Order. And it gives you a 24 second window and you just get as many crits as you can in that window to reduce the cooldown. And then Ancient Teachings of the Monastery, every time that you Essence Font, for a set amount of time after that essence font ends, you every punch and kick that you do, every single target punch and kick that you do, it uh, does two and a half times the damage as healing to a party member. So like you, you kick something for 10,000, it'll heal someone for 25,000 near you. And those are the two kind of current play styles. You either go one or the other, and Sinister Teachings is kind of one, but it's a lot of people's... Um, idea that oh these are the top two legendaries if we combine them will be unstoppable and that was my original opinion until i kind of played around with it i haven't gone into the ptr and like tried these two out i don't even know if you can do that but what i have done is something that you can do yourself you can swap to venthyr but equip the ancient teachings legendary and why i say that is do that in a, in a key or in anything that you want to do in raid and during, during your Fallen Order window and your Ancient Teachings window, pretend like you have the Fallen Order Legendary equipped. Give yourself a 24 second timer. You can do it with a weak aura. You can use your same weak aura. Um, just turn the trigger off so you don't have to have a Fallen Order to make it pop up, you know? And just ask yourself, how many punches and kicks do you get off in that window? Because you're going to be, you you only have a set amount of global cooldowns in the in the Fallen Order window. And a lot of those are going to be refreshing Jade Wind, channeling Essence Font, clicking Renewing Mist, maybe like a Vivify here and there. And then every now and then you'll get like one or two punches and kicks off. It's my reason for why this is probably not even going to be the go-to, despite what everyone thinks, is because it, it really clutters both of the... The play styles are so strong and they're both so much fun, especially Ancient Teachings. I am a huge fan. But they kind of clash in a way. They don't build off each other. They kind of kind of fill each other's gaps. Like while you don't have Fallen Order up, you can just use Ancient Teachings. But you can't really use them at the same time and get the full potential out of both of them. And that's why I think these... I mean, you can't go wrong with these because... Look at just Fallen Order alone right now, it's busted. And then if you play like you are just using Sinister Teaching and just randomly get a couple accidental Ancient Teachings procs, you can't go wrong with that. You're going to heal a ton. But some of these other combinations are disgusting, in my opinion, and I want to get into those. So f the first things first, what I think the Sleeper Legendary is going to be next expansion for Miss Weaver Monks is Invoker's Delight. Windwalkers already use this. It's very strong. They summon Zwin and they get a ton of haste and they can just pump while Zwin's out. Now, Invoker's Delight, it gives us 20 seconds of a basic, basically a bloodlust while when we summon our Celestial being our adept like uh, Yulon or Chiji. And normally, like if we summon Yulon, we could just get that 33% haste and pump some heals out with enveloping breath. We get that 33% out with Chiji, it's over. Okay, anything you do heals. Chiji's very strong and you could even it could even become viable in raid now. Um but I think Invoker's Delight with Sinister Teachings in particular would be super strong because you pop Fallen Order, you pop your Adept, like say you summon Yulon, and then you just do your normal Sinister Teachings cooldown. In that 24 second window, you might even be able to completely cancel out the cooldown of Fallen Order because you could probably get it down to zero seconds It, with that haste buff. It, it, it could be super strong. It could be very strong. I can see that being absolutely busted. Also, you're healing a ton because you have 33% haste. Like, come on. That's so dumb. And then also Invoker's Delight with Ancient Teachings. I mean, you could still use Yulon just fine because Yulon's just that strong. Or... 33% haste buff while your punches and kicks are healing people while you have Chi-Gi also making your punch and kicks heal people 
you just do so much healing and damage with that 33% haste buff. That's why I think Invoker's Delight is the sleeper legendary. It, it would be super strong with both of these already super meta picks. And it's, I think it's going to be absolutely disgusting with either of these play styles. Maybe Fallen Order might still take the, the edge, but with um, Ancient Teachings, it's going to be stupid too. Honestly, I think this is going to be the way to go. Um, so that's, you could shut off the video now if you wanted to, but there's still a lot to go over. Also some Mythic Plus stuff if you want to stick around for that. But that's, that's hands down what I think is Invoker's Delight is going to be one of your legendaries and then it's going to be disgusting. Um, another, another way to use Invoker's Delight could be the Kyrian legendary called Arms. Whenever you use Weapons of Order, you'll, you'll summon your Celestial. And then Invoker's Delight will proc, you'll get the 33% haste. And then you also still have your base Celestial. You can use like, so you can use Yulon, get 33% haste, you know, do stupid things with Yulon. And then once Yulon goes away, you could Weapons of Order, get a new Yulon, and then get that 33% haste again. And it would just be filthy. Now, the one problem with this is that you will be doing base healing. Like I said earlier, you're going to have to be relying on your Vivifies, your all your hots to do all of your healing it's gonna be very mana intensive that's why i don't think that this is gonna be the way to go unless it's a fight like guardian um from sanctum of domination where it's like a quicker fight and you just have to do a bunch of healing in a short amount of time then maybe this might be the way to go because it's gonna be a ton of healing you're gonna basically have a permanent bloodlust it'll feel like but that's not very good for your mana bar, especially when you're casting things like Enveloping Mist. You might need some, uh, some, oh, man, what's it called? I asked for it. Innervates. You might need some Innervates to make this work, but that could be like some, a cool way to go. That's one of the more cheeky ones where you just abuse like Yulon or chi maybe. But if you're going to be using chi I think the way to go would be Invokers plus uh, Ancient Teachings. Now... Now I want to talk about, um, okay, Call to Arms plus the Ancient Teachings. This would make you go back to Kyrian and then also using using Ancient Teachings. It would basically just be the old Ancient Teachings way, but now every time you Weapon Supporter, you get your Adept. And I think this would be very strong with chi in particular, just because you would just get a ton of healing just from doing damage. And it's just, you'll do a ton of damage in Raid, which is always nice, especially on single target bosses. Your damage can be kind of nice um while also just doing passive healing which is why people liked um ancient teachings in the first place is because it feels like you're just getting free healing while doing a ton of damage which you can't go wrong with that and then call to arms just lets you go back to that old fun ancient teachings play style um and also just get free chigis which if you ask me sounds pretty fun but i don't think that that's going to be as good as invoker's light but uh I guess we'll, we'll just have to see about that one. So that's that's all the raid uh, combinations that I want to talk about right now. Um, so I guess now we can get into the Mythic Plus combinations. And this is kind of where things get a little stupid. Like, there, there are some pretty dumb combinations that you could do. Uh, the door has been blown wide open now. Um, because the meta in Mythic Plus has always been healers who do damage are more sought after. And I am no expert in the other uh, healing classes as much as I am uh, Miss Weaver, so I don't know how their damage is going to get buffed next year, but I'm sure it will be. But you can kind of get away with some stupid damage as Miss Weaver next uh, uh, expansion, or in 9.2. Um, because we can we can we can still do a ton of healing and do a ton more damage now and that's that's all we could want um you might still want one of the two like core play style legendaries being sinister teachings or ancient teachings ancient teachings of the monastery that way you still have that base like good healing for a mythic plus key that way you're never worried about your healing but then you can combine it with like one of the the more damage focused legendaries Back when we could only, like still, I guess, now that we, right now, when we can only use one legendary, it's just not good enough to go a single solo damage um, legendary. Um, like, 
Fatal Touch, Judgment of the uh, Arbiter, Feyline Stomp kind of falls under this. Um, the only one being Ancient Teachings being viable because it's a damage legendary because it, it encourages you to do damage, but it does a ton of healing too. Um, but you can't really just go into a key with Fatal Touch and expect to be fine on healing. I mean, you might be because your base kit's like still fine. Um, sorry, my dog's barking. But w you may still want one of those two core legendaries to have your healing covered, and then you could facilitate it with, like, say you have f uh, Sinister Teachings so that your healing is always covered, you always have Fallen Order up, um, and then you just get a Fatal Touch one week. You know, maybe it's Bursting Week and you want to control when stuff dies as the healer. That's what, that's what I use Touch of Death on, on Bursting, is, like, I like to... If, if three packs are dying at the same time, I like to Touch of Death one early, so that its stack falls off as the other two die. You know, like things like that. You might want Touch of Death up every minute, and that'll buff your damage by a ton in a key. Getting three times as many Touch of Deaths in a key, that's going to be a, t a lot more damage. Like, a couple hundred thousand in a key. That could be very nice. Or you could get Judgment of the Arbiter. This one is a weird legendary. I don't know how it works. All I see is that it does a good bit of damage. Um, every time you deal damage, you have a chance to just send out a shockwave of damage. It's kind of like the Lightless Force Weapon Enchant. Um, you can't go wrong there. And I think maybe combining this one with um, Ancient Teachings, you might just do a ton of damage. Or you could be a little safer and combine it with a Sinister Teachings and or Sinister Order. <laughs> I don't know. I'm kind of lost at this point. But you can combine it with the Venthyr Legendary Sinister Teachings. And that way, Fallen Order is doing all of your passive healing while you sit there and do damage and pulse out that that you know free Lightless Force procs. That could be nice. I could see that being uh, very good. Um, and then there's also you could you could always go Feyline Stomp. You could go Feyline Stomp, which is the the Night Fey uh, Covenant ability or Covenant Legendary, and it just buffs your Covenant ability and it makes it do. It makes you do a lot more damage in a key, but it's it's been tested before and it's not as exciting as we would want it to be. But I mean, now that you can combine it with a second legendary, I mean, if you can, if you have the healing covered, like say you're doing a plus twenty and you know you can heal it, but now you get your you know your current skill plus a second legendary on top of that, why not go for another damage option? You know, you have your healing covered, just do more damage. And this could be a good way to do it. They have a very strong conduit. I think it reduces Feyline Stomp's cooldown. Um, and then you can combine it with um, Ancient Teachings because... Or, I'm sorry. <laughs> Sinister Teachings, and I've already said that. But yeah, or you could even, if you're, you know, psycho, if you're crazy, if you think that you have enough healing in your base kit, which I actually do, I think Monk... You know, you can just sit there and envelop your and vivify people, and they'll be fine. If you're one of those people, and you know your tank is very solid, like say you're doing it with a group of friends, and your tank is like a bear and he never dies, just go two of the damage legendaries. Like, go Feyline Stomp, and then go Judgment of the Arbiter, or go Judgment of the Arbiter and Fatal Touch, and just do a ton of damage. Be your fourth DPS that can also heal in a pinch. Yeah, you still have a uh, revival. You'll still have either Yulon or Chiji, whichever you're using, and you still have Essence Font and Bellamy Mess. You have some strong hots. Like, you'll be fine, but you'll do a ton of damage. And that's one way that I could see it, people going. Like, maybe some people in the top keys might want to do that. Go two of the damage legendaries. But if I'm being real, if I'm being honest, I think what people are gonna do is they're gonna go. Um, uh, sinister Teachings, just because it's busted and everyone's used to it now. It does a ton of healing. It's a very safe option in keys. And then they're going to combine that with either Ancient Teachings, just so they can, you know, do more damage on the pack that they don't have Fallen Order on and do more healing. Or they're going to combine it with maybe Judgment of the Arbiter. Maybe we see a rise in Judgment of the Arbiter, but right now it's not seeing any play. But maybe we see uh, Miss Weaver's use Judgment plus Sinister Teachings. That's probably what I'm going to try out. I'll let you guys know once 9.2 comes out. I'll let you know for sure what I think's best. But this has been my opinions going into it. I think the tier set's going to be cool. I think Invoker's Delight, if, if you have it built already, you're probably set to go. If not, you might want to just build it. 
have it ready. I think it's great. I think it's insanely good. And if at worst you have it for, if you ever want to try Wind Walker. Um, yeah, that's just been my takes on everything. Um, I'm gonna, I think I talked less time than my video is gonna play. So I'll just let the video play out. Um, if you wanna stick around, see how the key ends. Maybe I haven't wiped yet, who knows? Um, but thank you guys so much. Uh, go ahead and hit subscribe if you haven't. Hit like, um, comment, let me know what you guys think. Let me know what legendaries you're excited to try out together. And I will see you guys in the next video and have a happy holiday season.
Hey guys, me again. Thanks so much for sticking to the end of the video, seeing how the key ends. Um, once again, just want to ask you guys, go ahead and subscribe if you haven't. It's free to do so, but it helps me out more than you could ever know. Like the video, and tell me what you think down below. I also want to disclaim that I know, and I knew this while recording the video, but I might have messed up a bit and like said some combinations that aren't possible. I know you're only going to be able to do one Covenant Legendary and one non-Covenant Legendary. So like, Ancient Teachings plus Sinister Teachings is obvious because it's the Covenant plus a non-Covenant. And also, I know that for sure they're going to add some new Legendaries. They added all the Covenant Legendaries and a couple more in 9.1.5. So I can only expect more to come out next expansion. Yet, I can't talk about them because I don't know. You know, I don't know what they're going to do. So... Um, but thanks for sticking around, and hopefully you enjoyed it. And once again, enjoy your holidays, um, and I will see you guys next time.